I've heard a lot of people talking about this unit, and well, I think it's finally time that we go ahead and evolve this unit and do our proper showcase for it. And it's gonna be none other than dun -dun -dun -dun, the best unit in the update, according to a lot of people. But we're about to see if that is cap or fat. Yes, that is right. Toad just said the word cap. Um, he's a boomer, somebody roast him, but yes, the one and only Leafy is the unit that we're gonna go ahead and evo now, guys. Leafy, of course, is an air magic unit from the new Sword Art Online update. Before we do this, guys, let me know what you think about the Sword Art Line update so far. Um, let me know what you think of the units, let me know what you think of, like, the update itself. Do you think it needed a three-week delay or whatnot? But, uh, yeah. Anyways, Leafy, guys, magic air hitter she is the only hybrid air hitter in this update yes because uh, Kirito doesn't do it Klein doesn't do it uh, Heathcliff doesn't do it and then who else is in the update uh, th th there's a couple other units in the update but Stain doesn't even hit airs like Stain's a good ground unit but he doesn't hit airs and then so on and so forth but here we have Leafy guys she got a B plus C plus and B stat potential we're gonna go ahead and start with her stat potential reroll first hopefully we can get something decent like you know SSS and all of them but huh, the humbug Grr. Oh man, D plus, D minus, and D minus. That, that's um, that's that's okay, I guess. Anyways, Leafy guys, as you know, is in the new support unit. Let's go see what it takes to evolve her. Of course, first thing you need is 7,500 takes down, which we got. 7,900 takedowns, which is very close to 6,900 takedowns. Huh? Very nice. But evoing her is gonna take all the same things that it takes to evo all the other units you guys have already seen. It's gonna need 12 blue fruits, 12 purple fruits six red fruits and then of course all of your star fruits which we have just enough these ethic fruits are so hard to obtain it's not even funny anymore like there needs to be a transfer fruit potential system like decrease legendaries for ethics or something like that but anyways we got plus 50 attack and verdant enchantment leafy sylph let's evolve her in three two one and there she is leafy sylph new magic air unit Three stack cubes and a perfect stack cube. Let's take a look at her stats currently. And now she is 4,735 to injury, 9.4 seconds of 26.1 range AA B plus on her stats, which is uh, probably gonna be very good. Now I did something here for this person. I went ahead and gotten some rebolts because you know, they're making me, they, they need me, they need me to die rerolls. So what I'm gonna do is send the build decks that I got for them. I'm gonna get 10 D rolls, but let's see if I can get unique. I really don't want to get unique on her. I think I want like sniper or like SPA on her. Okay, we literally got sniper immediately. Nice. Let's just go ahead and roll on stain for him. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, range three stain. That's fine. <laughs> but what's important is that we got sniper on Leafy. So now she has 32. 6 range which is quite absurd because as you guys probably know by now leafy is a new support unit she's not supposed to be a main damage unit she's supposed to be a support unit very much so like wendy oh, that's not how you spell wendy that's how you spell wendy but the thing about wendy guys is that a she's a legendary and b she does no damage so let's go ahead and take a look at the new leafy unit see how much more op she is than wendy so unequip everyone here from the team yep that includes you. We'll bring Oshi, we'll bring Bulma, we'll bring, of course, the speed car, and that's like our, our main like lineup right there. I think with Leafy, what we'll do is we'll bring Kisuke, and then we'll bring Poochie as well, just to see what like she can do with like a super low attack, see if that helps anything, and so on and so forth. Let's go into the game mode and see how OP Leafy is. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in Lorraine Tour, of course, is like my favorite map to do these showcases. I don't know why, but we all know that Leafy is gonna hit air, so there's no point in going to an air unit. And then if the unit doesn't hit air, you can just cycle through their attacks and see if they hit airs or not. But let's go ahead and start by uh, saying that I forgot to bring Leafy on a team, so I gotta be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're back again, and we can actually place our Leafy down this time, and we can start doing our farm strat. Of course, if you guys have not already liked the video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. You guys are so amazing. We're almost at 105,000 subscribers, which is absurd, because we just had 100,000 subscribers like last month. So you guys are insane, and I appreciate you very, very, very much. But here it is. Here's Leafy on placement, guys. Look at her. Actually, literally, look at her. She looks so... Oh, she has an ability. off will it. Okay. Look at her. This is her first attack right here, guys. Um, oh, cool. It's like a little triple hit attack thing. Let me get my farms down before the wave ends, please. Okay, good. I just barely got my farms down. There we go. Upgrade my farm again. 
and and there she is she's doing quite a lot of damage on placement which is pretty insane especially since she's not like unique or anything so that's pretty cool four thousand i mean 4,000 damage is a lot, but it really actually isn't a lot now I think about it because she is a support. So, uh, never mind. She's not doing that much damage. I, I, I take it back, okay? She's not doing that much damage. Sorry, I lie. I lie. But she is looking pretty cool. Her attack is pretty cool. It's a multi hit, but she does have a lot of range. That's actually what I was trying to say. She has a lot of range for a first placement unit, which is pretty cool. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick little time lapse here. We'll get some more money. There are pizza, better ingredients, pop our Russo kind of money, and we'll be right back. We can start upgrading our Leafy and maxing her out to see her true. Ruth supporting potential. But uh, yeah, time lapse, go! And with that, like four waves later, we got enough money to max out our leafies. Now, before we max her out, I want to see just how many leafies we can place down. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Okay, so there's a global amount of six leafies that can be placed. What that means is that if you put down three leafies and then your friends put down three leafies, you literally cannot place any more leafies down. So for some people, that's a good thing because that means one person has to bring leafy and they'll be able to play six of her, which is quite a lot of leafies if I do say so myself. Now we're gonna try to figure out her DPM real quick here in just a moment, but let's take a look at Leafy herself first. So here she is on place and doing 5,445 damage with a Wendy buff and then 9.4 SPA and 32 range. Her circle attack, kind of mid. She has this thing called Verdant Enchantment. Let's see what it does on one click. Oh my gosh. 50% boost on placement? Wait, but look, that one boosts up to 100. And if you just keep putting them next to each other like this, Oh my gosh, guys. That literally is doing a thousand or 10,000 damage right now because of the buff. Uh, okay, uh, we gotta try to figure out how long this Verdant Enchantment buff actually is. And if it's pretty long, all you're gonna wanna do is get a good curse on her, but we'll have to see. We got 83,000 money here. Let's go ahead and start upgrading one of our Leafas here. See if her range increases, see how much her damage increases by, and see if she's better than the Wendy unit that we currently have. Let's see, first upgrade, 10,000 damage. Second upgrade, 16,000. Then third upgrade, she has Wind Needle, which is a 7.5 SPA, 32.6 range. Yeah, that attack is, uh, probably really OP because it's multi-hit and she's doing, what was it, a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, that, that looks really cool, the animation for that. Nice. 30 or 21,000 years, 7.5 seconds with 32.6 range is not bad, especially since Leafa is a support, guys. Don't forget, her job is to support, but upgrade her again and again and again, and she is actually maxed out. Interesting. Okay, so Leafa is maxed out. She only gets those two upgrades and she's really cheap to max out guys now the reason you're gonna bring her is because of her damage and oh not her damage because of her damage that she does over wendy and the fact that you're only going to need two of her to get a hundred percent buff now the hundred percent buff thing is really interesting it's kind of hard to do with her it seems like it almost seems like having higher range on Leafa is actually a bad thing. But this is how you kind of buff like this, guys. You're gonna spray two units out pretty far away from each other, making sure they don't buff each other. But look, one buff onto her, she has a 50% buff. Then now she's gonna buff her, and she has 100% buff. She's gonna buff her, she has 100% buff. And then finally over there, look, they have 100% buff over here. So this Leafy's doing 108,000 damage every 7.5 seconds with 32.6 range. And of course, if we go ahead and place down a Kisuke right here real quick and upgrade Kisuke, boom, 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 and give her the buff. She has 6.7 SPA with 39.1 range, which is a lot of range actually. And she's buffing literally everyone in her circle with that 50 to 100% buff that she has right there which is quite insane if I do say so myself. Now, is that better than Wendy? The thing is, it depends. It depends on, are you gonna do infinite runs? Do you already have a Wendy? Do you wanna spend all your time and resources into evolving a Leafa? It is better than a Wendy, in terms that she does about 10 times as much damage that Wendy does, and her ability over here is going to be uh, 50% as opposed to 30% for Wendy. Now let's see how long the cooldown is in this ability. So let's pop it real quick. 
start our time launch. And then while we're doing that, let's go ahead and focus on getting Poochie over here. We'll get Poochie to his ability. And then with his ability, let's see how fast her attack is. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that in case it masses up the, the ability. Let's see how long the ability takes to recharge. And I'll be right back. So we're closing out on exactly one minute. And yet, that's exactly how long it is. It's a one minute cooldown on this ability. But you can play six of her, so don't forget. That's a 50% buff every minute from six of them. And you can probably do that infinite like glitch thing that you can just keep getting a ton of buffs, which will be really OP for your magic team. So Leafa, is she a must get unit? I'd say so, yes. But I would hold off on getting her if you already have a Wendy and focus on upgrading other units that you wanna upgrade and Evo first. Um, but yeah, I I'd say she's really good. Let's go ahead and pop the buff right here and let's go ahead and use a Poochie buff and let's see if that time goes down at all. Uh, with the Poochie ability, I don't think it is, but wait, it might be a 30 second cooldown. Let's check that out right there. So Poochie ability was popped, popped, and it doesn't look like it. That's like 15% of the way down there. But yeah, 4.7 SPA, 3.7 SPA doing 54,000 damage. If we just go ahead and make that as like our DPN thing. So 60 divided by 7.4 times 54,000 damage. Leafa's doing a total of 2.6 million damage from minute as a support unit, which honestly is not bad because she is a support. That is it. That is her role. Oh, and she also hits air because she's a hybrid unit. So not bad as a unit. Like I said, there's other units out there that you're going to want to focus on first, such as uh, uh, Usopp and Pride the One and Law and if you already have Wendy, you already have Wendy. So that's the new Leafa, guys. Let me know what you think of Leafa. Let me know what you think of the update. I'll see you guys later. Reese's Thesis. Bye!